Hello everybody and welcome back to Arthanex Plays Europa Universalis Forest Byzantium. So when we left off, um, Austria attacked Bohemia which dragged us into a war with our ally of Moscovy which we really did not want to be in because we want to attack Golden Horde. However, Austria has sent an army over here to fight Moscovy so I'm thinking we're just going to go ahead and attack Golden Horde anyway. Um, the goal is pretty much all of their provinces except their capital. Um, I wouldn't mind taking their capital, but we're gonna already going to have quite a um, border friction, a relations penalty with Moscovy. And if we take uh, Suratov, that adds all of these other provinces to our border. Whereas if we just stop here, it makes this a much more even border and we'll have less border friction. So um, it's only... It's only a three base tax province anyway. This is the real um, gem uh, that they have left. So we'll just go ahead and take the rest of these and, uh, and leave them with that. Um, however, to be on the safe side, we should probably ferry our troops back on well, off the Italian peninsula back to the rest of our territory. Um, which we can now walk everywhere, even though we're not technically contiguous, because last time we vassalized Georgia and uh, Emirati. So, hooray for that. Um, Alright, so let's go ahead. And they're allied with Bukhara, which is way over here. Um... who I fought before. So if I look at them in the ledger, they have 16,000 troops. So it should not be a major issue. All right, so let's go ahead and declare war on the Golden Horde with a Holy War CB. Um, they're in the coalition against us, so that's why we want to make sure we declare war on them now before our truce with Kara expires and Kara joins the coalition, because they most certainly will join the coalition when um, our treaty with them or truce with them expires. So uh, go ahead and declare war on pause. And we will march in there. Now, at the moment, um, they're not granting military access to anybody. So at the moment, Russia can't walk into these provinces. Um, let's continue. Let's ferry the rest of our army across. So we should be safe to carpet siege. However, Russia can probably get military access from them, so we have to be a little bit careful. Probably won't send an army off by itself to siege that. Oh yes, and of course we have to actually destroy their army. Um, okay. Fortunate, since diplomatic power is the one we're actually short on, but better than some of the other events we could have had. Oh, and I'm an idiot. I forgot to reassign my leader to this army. But we're going to win anyway, because the Golden Horde sucks. Okay, let's... Um, Siege, 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 siege. We'll have to keep a close eye on that Russian army. And Georgia does not have a claim on that, so they should give it to me.
I'm assuming they're going to go up and siege it, or Emerity will, one or the other. going to siege it for me. Alright, so just have to keep a close eye on this um, Russian army. While we carry out our sieges. And we also have to keep an eye out for uh, Lucara. They'll probably send an army. Uh, where are you going? Okay. That's fine. You're probably going to attack these guys. Uh, sure. Are you looting these provinces as you go? Doesn't look like it. Yeah, you're going up to attack those guys. Georgia, if you want your army to survive, maybe you shouldn't siege Russian provinces. standing there is very annoying, however. Whatever happened to the army that Austria sent over here? Oh, they're up here. <laughs> An odd place. If I was going to start my invasion of Russia, I probably would not have picked that province if I was Austria. Uh, are you sieging the war goal? You are. Okay. There is some hope that this war with Russia will end relatively soon. Um, can't get to that province without going through this army. that other army. Um, I still don't have a leader. way to get a leader there either. That's 
their attack. And their attack is decent. Very close. It's very close. Okay, I won somehow. Um, all right, I need another leader. Um, let's see here. Jarvis and then go to there. Now Moscovy is going to attack this army. Well, my best bet is probably to attack this army. Oh, I escaped them. Lucky me. Georgia went up there, that's fine then. We go down there. to that problem so I need somebody to do it might as well be you Okay. That was the actual war going on. All right. Now what is Russia going to do, I wonder? Uh, where did they rise up this time? All the way over there. Great. This army, when this siege finishes, I'll send that back army back to take care of the rebels. They should be able to do it. This is a plains province, right? No, it's a hills. Hmm, they might not be able to. I can always recruit uh, a few more troops. If I need to. Or I could send this army. I think I'll send this army. Moscovy appears to be retreating it with its troops. Oh, 
or rather advancing in the opposite direction. Who else are they at war with? I don't know. I don't know why they're going in that direction. Maybe they're going around here. This war hasn't generated any more unrest, at least. Um, is Austria full sieged Bohemia yet? No, but they're close. Unfortunately, now they're fighting this other war. Uh, can't allow that to happen. It's going to take a couple of years, but eventually that should give me a 100% war score with uh, Golden Horde. Austria doing up here. Uh, well, they, their army is still here, as is Spain's. Bohemia is resieging their its capital. Uh, okay, my army arrived here. Let's ferry it over there, hopefully, before this falls. I could have walked to Albania and ferried it to there. I think this is uh, probably a little faster. Um, more in the same place. Um, see, what is that? That's 20 years. I don't want more in the same place. I can afford to give half of that, half of that one province's uh, income. Is this going to fall? 12 days. Oh. Hopefully not. I did get there in time at least. Oh, I should refabricate that claim. Uh, 
and let's see I should also be improving relations over here useful. Um, so what exactly is going on here? Uh, the Milanese conquest of Mantua. You know, if I wasn't already busy, this would be like the perfect time to attack the Papal State. But I am busy. <clears throat> I forget how long it is, but eventually the same thing will happen here as happened in my war with the Ottomans. Certainly I'm not going to cross over and try and siege this guy's territory. And it's useless to sue for peace. Yeah, their war enthusiasm is still high. Just have to wait him out. At least unrest is not really an issue. That's unfortunate, but I can afford to boost it back up. Exhaustion's still fine. Kind of surprised Moscovy's war enthusiasm is still high. They have had a bunch of territory sieged. Maybe there's some sort of resupply mechanic that I'm not aware of that means that because they have a port, they can resupply their armies better and take lower attrition. It would make sense logically, but I don't think that that mechanic actually exists. <clears throat> is certain is that they walked all the way to the only one of the only two ports that Russia actually has and started sieging it. Oh, you're 
taking attrition there. Is that going to draw me in? Is that going to drag me into this war? Doesn't look like Austria is in that war. I wonder why not. It seems like they should be. All right. It's still progressing fine. What province is that? Oh, it's this one. Uh, sure. I can do that. Um, all this diplomat back and set it to fabricating a claim on that province. Oh, that's cool. Great Britain rivaled Portugal. So now, Por now Portugal's only allied with Spain. <clears throat> Who I'm currently in a war with. Probably not for much longer. Still, this might be a good time to attack. Mm, no, this war that I'm in with Austria will not match much longer. ton of overextension from all these golden horde provinces plus I'm westernizing it is tempting though man I thought I was gonna have enough diplo power I'm only losing one a month but like those if I keep getting that merchants upset event I might not. 69 more months. That's five more years. It's going to be close. Which is fine. If it's close, it'll just take a couple of extra points from the other ones. Let's see. 
After this, Lithuania is probably my next target. I lost my claim on this province, so I should refabricate it. Okay, Austria's starting to piece people out. Maybe they'll piece out Moscovy. That would be nice, but probably not. Moscovy's war enthusiasm is still high. So let's see, what do I actually want here? I want everything but the capital, yeah, which you will not give me. It's 80% overextension and a bunch of aggressive expansion that I don't care about, except with Moscovy. That's okay. I don't have very much aggressive expansion with Moscovy at the moment, so that should be okay. Really would prefer I could use uh, this could use a top off. I can really prefer not to separate piece out. I really don't need the relationship penalty. I'm just gonna have to wait for Austria to take whatever it is they're gonna take. Do they have that subjugate Bohemia? Yeah, they do. I wonder if they'll let that. Can they vassalize them? No, not even close. So they'll probably just take a couple of provinces. And oh, I forgot. Can't look. Well, this should be done pretty quickly. Boy, I haven't improved relations with Hungary in quite a while. I should get on that. What kind of leader do they have? They have a militarist. Fortunately, they still value me as an ally. Okay. Two years of plus two national revolt risk. I really don't want to take the prestige penalty. I'll suck it up. Um, This war might go on for a while.
Portugal is in another war. Who are they fighting? Wonka. Is that these guys, I wonder? Hmm, perhaps not. care about these provinces so much. It's these that I really want. rivaled Spain. thought they were already rivals, but apparently not. Imports compete with Byzantine quality goods. Uh... No, I will not buy. I will not buy goods from uh, Portugal's colonies. Thank you very much. Another hundred diplomatic power. Well, that's going to slow down the westernization process. I'll have to wait a month for it to update. Still taking it even though I have negative? It shouldn't be, I don't think. Does Austria overreach themselves? I don't think so. It's not. Oh, well, we're well over halfway. Oh, my core claims finished. Yeah. You will not be sad. I didn't expect that you would. Um, let's see. I should really improve my relations with Hungary. And sure, I guess we'll fabricate another claim on Lithuania. Are we up into Russian cultured provinces yet? We are. Um, somehow it seems like a bad idea to uh, to take cut Russian culture promises from Lithuania. Let's focus on the Ruthenian ones.
Um, really? No one's won enough battles? Oh, I guess there were only five battles. nationalists <laughs> there's a chance they'll cross the border um, why don't you go guard against that possibility might have to might have to um, fight some rebels before this before this goes to 100 percent all right so that's done Fabricate a claim on Kara. How about that province? Oh, flip to 100. Excellent. Oh, and I have no diplomats. Get back here. Knock it back down to speed 2. And. Yep, so we'll take all of this. Um, sure, we'll take war reparations, we'll take whatever money you have, and actually, yeah, I don't want, to, I don't want anything that costs diplomatic power because I have no diplomatic power. So, I can't have you revoke any cores. That's fine. Uh, I will just take this. There's none that I missed. Nope, I got them all. <laughs> okay. Well, maybe I will take Kursk. Yeah, we'll see. Maybe I will. Maybe I won't. None of these are Russian. No. Just gonna constantly be at zero diplo power, I guess. All right, Bohemia finally pieced out. They took Morovia. They had him release Silencia. They took war reparations. Good. I can reestablish my alliance with Muscovy. We have a small was at war penalty, but it's not too bad. Uh, how's the border friction? Still minus one. It may not have updated yet. Um, 
still don't want to get my relations with Hungary back up. Um, right, internal conflicts, overextension. And my empire has reached the Caspian Sea, just barely, but it has. That's pretty close. and the empire is once again at peace <laughs> for the moment so our next target if we can't find an easy way to get Portugal um, Isn't there a religions tab on here? All right, well, I'll find it. Um, that's going to be the end of this episode. If you enjoyed watching, please consider liking the video or subscribing to the channel. In either case, I hope you all have a terrific day. Ooh, that's something to keep an eye on. What war is that? Oh, right. Okay. All right. I hope you all have a terrific day.